Hello everyone, this is Rocket Boy 3005 and we're going back to my original roots of my channel is gaming. And you wanna know what's these for? Um uh, I think I definitely know some people play games on consoles. And sorry I don't have a capture card yet. <laughs> or a capture device to plug into my laptop. I'm trying to do something a little fun, but the console is triggering one of the controllers, if you only have one controller, to be player two. Today I see some games that uses some co controllers, like in Steam, you can have the full controller, semi-controlled games, like Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2, and uh, Sonic Generations, mostly all the Valve games, and so on. In some games you cannot play without a another controller. And some people don't only, only afford one controller. And either one has to either only play a keyboard and mouse or a controller itself or just find a way to play multiple. I'm going to show you how to tr trick your computer, well, yeah, mostly controller or device, that your controller be player two instead of just player one. Of course, you need. The controller. It could be a wired or wireless. It has to be a, a 360 controller. It could be either by receiver or by wired, which is. Where did I move that thing? <laughs> right here. And make sure you don't do, don't please don't do like I did, because this one cannot work with me right now. Because you can tell how stupid I am. <laughs> Luckily, it still works, it's just the LED system don't work and doesn't tell you which is player one, player two anymore. Or three or four. These ones are very easy because all you need to do is this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is change resolution. Uh, first, let's, of course, I'm still using X splits. Uh, for my troubling fun. Let's move this around. Let's go with 20 by 90, I believe. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, let's let's take this out of the plug. Yeah, it won't allow beep. All right, all you need to do is plug this in. Well, you probably saw there's a little bit of LED lighting, but it'll still not register a player's slot for some reason. Because how idiot, as I said, idiotic guy did with this. Like so. Anyway, when you turn the game on, hurry up and remove it, and quickly put it back in. It'll turn from player 1 to player 2. Either by during a load up or during the gameplay. That's one way. Now, I'm going to do it with the wireless because this one actually does work. The wireless is usually a little harder because it's as we expect using the receiver. First, make sure it's connected. If it. Let me. Oops, that's why. There we go. Green lights on, that means it's connected. Now we're going to move. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one. Have it one foot. Of course. This thing would be funny. One foot. Alright. It's just how. Can I at least move without having that problem error? You stay up there. And directed to my USB. Yeah, I'm trying without doing it. No, not much of anything. 120. One, two. Ah, I'll move the dial. Jeez. There. There. 
There we go. Now it wants to do. Doesn't want to do the width, but the height's fine. All right. Let's go ahead and connect to a game. But first, turn your controller on. You see, it's, it says player one. I'll keep it in front of me. Well, this is the point of the other one. Mess around with Portal 2. Right. All right. Put one on one earphone out of my ear because it's loud. So let's go ahead and yes, you can still use this on player two. And I'll press the X button since Portal Two is now able to use controllers and offline mode. So let's go ahead and load up co-op. Convenience. All tests are available, and all safety precautions within testing chambers have been deactivated. Of course I'm using my trackpad on this one because I'm not in the mood to use the mouse. So far, I can just shut, shut off the video and that's it. Just do one test Hello. on it. Yeah. This testing course was originally created for humans. It emphasizes teamwork. Unlike us, humans need to be taught teamwork. Let's see here. This one look fun.
as you can also tell, the, the cursor always changes when I go back and forth with the with this. Now that's funny. I crushed my own buddy while in the air. Even though it's my own self. Let's try again. Bit. We both should look straight down. Here we go. Infinite loop for both of us. Actually, let's make the keyboard stay there. Keep thinking about that bun's serious. I want the red bun. Orange receives five science collaboration points. And I don't care. Excellent. Although great science is always the result of collaboration, keep in mind that, like Albert Einstein and his cousin Terry, history will only remember one of you. Yeah. See, it's a bit easy. Well, it's the third. We have two people here, but... You know in some human sports, the winner is the one who scores the fewest possible points. I just thought you might find that interesting. Most winners do. Uh -huh. Go ahead and look at that. I'll just do one more for you guys. It's give you some little enjoyment in this old channel. Blue receives five side collaboration points. Tricky. I think I may 
view. So let's go ahead and This one. Yep. I knew it. It's harder with the when you have two and one than having two people. We both hit the head. Let's try that way. Should be easy by making it hard. Jump on. So let's make sure I have this right again. I'm trying to make sure I'm on the right. I got this one. Ah, oh, President Wipe. Uh, that was fun. Very good. You've really come together as a team, thanks to the one of you who appears to be doing all of the work. And yeah, that's myself. Reassembled again. Did I just got did I got slammed by the automatic door? Uh. <laughs> yes, indeed. Should play this way. Player one is a keyboard mouse, and the other person uses a 360 controller. These tests are potentially lethal when communication, teamwork, and mutual respect are not employed at all times. Naturally, this will pose an interesting challenge for one of you, given the other's performance so far. Stop it. 
Did you know we originally used these cameras to capture moments of intense pain and agony in test subjects? If the subject survived the test, we let them purchase the pictures for five dollars. If the subject died, we gave the photo to their next of kin, free of charge. The photos weren't as popular as we had hoped, so we repurposed the cameras. What are you doing? You monster. They're one of us. I'm kidding. Destroying them is part of the test. They are no more important to you than you are to me. And now I've got to take a few more mouse. Back to controller. We compromised the test to divulge individual scores. However, I can tell you that at least one of you is doing very, very well. Please continue into the next test chamber. I can just do this all day for years. <laughs> uh. I don't know what you think you are doing, but I don't like it. I want you to stop. Uh, the rock, paper, scissors. The two of you have forged an excellent partnership, with one of you handling the cerebral challenges, and the other ready to ponderously waddle into action should the test suddenly become an eating contest. <laughs> oh, Gladys. Oop, wrong one. Well, either way. At least now we know that you can. Let's see if I can get my. Um, there it goes. Got a little bit locked up. And. Now you know, you can actually play two players with the keyboard and mouse and a, a single 360 controller. The keyboard and mouse person is the player one, in this case we're playing Portal 2, Atlas, and the person who is using the controller is Peabody. This probably also does the same way when you play other games. But not all games will probably would work this way because some games don't only allow the it. Don't know why, but depends. Some games do, some games don't. Unless you know how to reprogram a certain controller that lets you think it's a 360 controller. Which there is a program out there you can actually emulate a controller for any kind that you use to make it think it's a 360 controller on whatever port uh, port number it is. Like, actually, no, player number, sorry. Port number, player number, whatever. Player 1, player 2, player 3, player 4. Because I'm not even looking at this right. Because I have to look at my reflection. Alright. Uh, squeaky chair. <laughs> also, before I go, I also see a request. Which I'm shocked about. I never, I never thought I was going to get a request. There is a request. Uh, there's actually a comments about uh, about my tracks. As I said, let's do this one first before I do the request. Someone asked me. Um, Yeah, they. Someone asked me to have my um, tracks I made from Mark uh, Mark Revision. These are the ones that I keep back up from certain games. 
and turns out I didn't have a have a um, an external. I had to rely on USBs and SDs. Most of them I only had was SDs. This one was my, was had all my games. As you can tell, that's missing. The and rims are missing. I also had another one that had the main ones, the main games, the game files, and the and my make backup. That one was destroyed. That one I cannot bring back. It's gone. Even my tracks is gone. I cannot give anyone my SMKCs, whatever they use for make. What you see is what you get now in Mario Kart Revision 2. I wish I kept them somewhere backed up. As I said, that, I did not know what was going to happen. It was a good way to um, remake them is by look at the tracks in, in a certain angle way or take pictures of the of uh, or screenshots um, take a screenshot from an emulator game or or other videos you see have a certain track look and just work it that way I also had a strategy guide from Mercury. We uh, that way I can scan the picture of the overhead track, and also do it that way too, and do it on make. One of the easiest tracks you can make without much of a problem on make or whatever you guys use to make your tracks and able to work with the AI is Coconut Mall. It's one of the easiest tracks to make. That's why I make Coconut Mall. No problem. Because either way, I cannot give anyone out my files for Mercury Vision. What you see, what you get. I luckily I kept a backup of the game and just stored it to a different uploading site. So Mega Uploads the main page, uh, mirror or whatever you want to call it, to get the game. Unless I decided to transfer it to somewhere else. And okay, that one aside. Now so now the uh, the request or invitation, whatever we call it. There's a there's a company called Omae or whatever I can pronounce it. It's it's I'll spell it out. It's A O M E I. They requested me to try one, their, uh, one or two of their products. One is Partisan Assistant and Backup uh, Data Backupper. I don't know if I'm going to try those ones, but either way, I'm thinking about restarting my PC from scratch. Anyway, because I'm used to my school's ways. Every so many months, wipe it clean and restart. And I was planning. On Putting Windows and Linux on here. The reason why I put Linux? Because Steam is also moving their stuff to Linux. And I know most people play Linux stuff. Their games run faster, probably a little better graphic like, whatever. Yeah, because how many stuff you can resource on Windows, sometimes Windows takes a lot of stuff, Linux takes a lot less. That means you can raise up your graphics a little bit higher. So, I want to play my games a little bit higher graphic, or just have a little higher speed. Doesn't matter with me. I want to try out Linux. Actually, I didn't try Linux <laughs> on here, but using Wubi, the W-U-B-I. If you want to know what Wubi is, if you never heard of it, it's it's a virtual boot system you put in your. All you need to do, all of this is just install it like normal on Windows. Then all you need to do is restart it. Then have a virtual boot disk already set up on your boot manager program that, that I already told you guys about about the previous part how to make a dual boot how to set it up um, I think I did it's been a while I did I don't look I don't look, usually don't look back at my videos and just when we start it there it is this is what windows you use and what kind of version of 
Linux to use. Mostly I may I use Ubuntu unless there's a Fedora out there. <laughs> yeah, that's only if I do Fedora. Again. Mostly I use Ubuntu because it's a lot easier. User friendly. So I for a person like me who's in the IT area, it's okay to use Wubi because even though it's not fully stable, it's good news. It's still good news to try because if you want to get ready to switch or make a partition of Linux, this is the way to go. If you don't like it, uninstall it. Done deal. No harm in your computer. But don't, but do not keep Wubi on at all times because. If you have an update in Windows or Linux, and it, or even a, or when uh, actually Linux updates are fine, but certain updates on Linux, and probably certain updates on Windows, but mostly any updates of Wubi may harm your computer and may lose your main partition of Windows. Don't want to do that. So that's why I said, if you want to try it, go ahead and try it. But. No, don't use it for too long. If you want to keep Linux, do a partition or a switch. <laughs> uh, but if I am going to try one of the pros, I'll probably use the partition assistant. Because I don't. Because after I'm do a partition, I'm restarting from scratch. Because it's gone. <laughs> but. But also, I may also use data backup or when I probably restart from scratch. After I'm done restarting from scratch. That's only if I get the chance to, because I do have work. And anything else I want to think of? Since this is updates and all that. Mm. No. I'm, I'm still going to try to get back on live stream. Right now, as I said, I have a lot of things on my mind. Work, college, whatever. And apparently, if, probably a funeral, because I met one of my friend's grandfather passed away. And I, I want to be nice to come over to say my blessings to the family that have lost lost his grandfather that's this Saturday so so yeah uh, I think this is it um, I have nothing else in my mind other than that one so I may do a live stream during this weekend if I'm able to go to my friend's place because where I'm at I get like 3 megabytes per second bandwidth whatever the, the company gives me and my family but when I go to my friends it's the maximum 24 of the same company they give you 3, 6, 12 and 24 and that load rate is like 1 megabyte per second when doing downloads from Steam and that, which is really nice. And that's just enough for me to do a live stream. I should know more than enough. Three megabytes per second is probably like 0.25, which is definitely not for live streaming. So, yeah, I'm hoping this weekend. If not, sorry, I'm. I hate postponing live streams that I want to do and do videos on YouTube. I want to catch up. I want to do some more stuff. I even try to do a uh, partnership, whatever. If I can't do videos on here on YouTube and, uh, and live streaming, what's the point of doing partnership with that when I can't do much videos? So, yeah. I showed you how to, how to do this. I also told you how, what, uh, what I'm up to and all that, what's going on and all that so yeah <laughs> without delaying this any further talk to you guys a little bit later see you next time